Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Andresa Island. Today is Friday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 1 through 7. Now let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak, first to his disciples, Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehana. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The corrupting agent in the Pharisees was their hypocrisy. On the outside, they pretended to be what they were not on the inside. In contrast, to the hypocrisy of the Pharisees, the followers of Jesus must practice transparency. And although much of the teaching that the disciples receive is in private, ultimately all will have to come out into the open. The church is of its very essence evangelical. Its purpose is to share the vision of Christ with the whole world. This is crucial to the setting up of the kingdom, the accepted reign of God in the world. And so Jesus says, what you have whispered in locked rooms will be proclaimed from the rooftops. This, of course, will involve dangers. The gospel will be resisted. It will be seen as a dangerous threat to other views of life. Christians will die, and in fact, thousands have sacrificed their lives simply because they were followers of Jesus. But death is not the worst enemy. It's a fact of life. It is an end we will all have to face one day sooner or later, one way or the other. The one we are really to fear is the one who has the power to cast into Gehenna after he has killed. Only God, as the supreme judge, has this power. Of course, the only person God cast into hell is the one who has chosen to separate him or herself definitively from God. The one we are really to fear is the one who can make us deny Christ and all that Christ means and to die in that state of denial. But whatever threat hangs over us, we're not to fear. We have the example of many before us who have gone to their deaths in peace and without hesitation. They knew they had no other choice. It was either death or truth. Even little birds sold in the marketplace for a few cents do not die unknown to God, says Jesus. The very hairs on our head are counted. So our duty is clear. 
to simply proclaim the good news of the gospel with openness and integrity and not to fear the consequences. Because we are not alone, the Holy Spirit is always with us. Something to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Now let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways, and may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and then share this link with others. Pass it on to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you and have a great day.